Okay, it's the sand dollar here today. It is Sunday, 5.15, Easter Sunday. Uh, sea fog moved in. It, was, it started out cloudy and rainy, then it turned sunny, and now sea fog came in. And there's still people on the beach, believe it or not. I doubt I'll find anything real good because it, it was just bad weather all weekend. Not a lot of people on the beach. So I came down here to see what I can find, which probably ain't going to be a lot, but we'll see. I'm running my MX Sport, my stainless steel sand scoop, and my gold digger land and sea pinpointer again. Um, I started two videos last week, but they were such bad hunts that one of them I didn't even do a wrap up on. I mean, you know, it was just a really sad hunt, so. I just went ahead and deleted them and uh, figured I'd start a new video. Anyway, let me get set up, get hunting, and see what I can find. Hey, can you see that group of people right there? I don't know if you can or not. They're about uh, 30, 40 feet away, I guess. I was digging up a target, showed it as a pull tab, jumping around, pull tab to penny. So, uh, I set my machine down next to me and was using my pinpointer to search the bottom of the hole because it was pretty deep. Here these two little Mexican kids came up and they were fixing to grab my machine and run down the beach with it. And I seen what they were doing, I grabbed my machine real quick and stood up because I was kneeling down. And uh, when they see me getting ready to pounce on them, they walked around. But it just goes to show you, man, you know, I ain't bothering nobody. Freaking bunch of damn little spicks got a damn steal. They were getting ready to rob me, man. That's what they were doing. So, anyway, it's getting pretty damn foggy down here. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be detecting. It's supposed to be better, better weather tomorrow. So, I might uh, do tomorrow's hunt and just put it on this video. So, I'll let you know. Okay, I just come across a quarter, about four inches deep in soft sand. Uh, I tried to wet sand, man. All I was getting pieces of can slaw, so I moved back up to the dry sand. So let you know we hit another target. Okay, I, I ain't gonna do a wrap up. I just found uh, some can slaw, bottle cap, and one quarter. That's all. The sea fog is so bad it's getting to where you can't even see down on the beach and it's cold as hell. Can't believe it. You know, it really upsets me about them two kids getting ready to try to rob me like they did. You know, a uh, little bit of my history. You know, I used to be a semi driver and when my wife was dying of cancer, I had to come off the highway and take care of her. So. I took a job with Loomis Fargo as a money man. You know, you'd go in, pick up money, and deliver money. And, uh, you know, part of my training was police training. And the second part of it was what to look for to, in case you, you know, you were getting ready to be robbed. Because you handle thousands of dollars, sometimes millions of dollars per day, and it could be just one pickup. So, you know, I seen them kids setting me up getting ready to rob me, take my machine and run down the beach with it. And you know, that machine through Kelly Co cost me nine hundred and forty six bucks and and I, I, I don't I don't wouldn't have had the money to replace it right away. You know, uh, it took me a while to save for it. The reason is is um, you know my wife's medical bills ate up a lot of our 401k and our and you know I'm just living on basic retirement now. And uh you know, it would have put me out of business. But I want to say this, you know, no matter if they're juveniles or not, if you rob a man and that man catches up with you, you deserve to get your ass beat. I don't care what judge, what a judge would say. You know, if them little 16 year old boys, if I would have caught them, I would have damn sure whipped their ass. You know, what it was, was I was kneeling down, digging up some can slaw, which showed up as a coin. Um, then I had my machine sitting on the ground side of me and I was using my pinpointer in the bottom of the hole. 
Well, the two kids, one split up to walk in front of me and one split up to walk behind me. And the one that walked behind me was getting ready to grab that machine and run. And I seen what was happening. So I grabbed the machine and stood up and he seen me and so he sort of chuckled about it, thought it was funny. So, you know, like I said, I don't care if we're juveniles or not. You go to rob a man, you deserve to get your ass beat. So, it's just that plain and simple. Uh, tomorrow morning, the weather's nice. I'm going to be back metal detecting. Probably be on South Beach in front of that one resort. But this has been a real crappy Easter weekend. I mean, the weather's been bad. There ain't been a whole lot of people on the beach. And uh, the, the, the limited fines, if any. Like I said, I was lucky I found that quarter. Um, so I'll, who knows what tomorrow will bring. But I hope it's a little bit nicer weather. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe. And... Uh, Hopefully I'll talk to you again soon.